I was 15, a sophomore, when I met a cute boy at school. One day, he offered me a ride home from school, and I was so happy. But he didn't take me home. He took me to his house, where he drugged and raped me and took photos. He threatened to show the photos to kids at school, to our priest at church, and to my father's boss at work. I was an ordinary kid who went to Catholic school and ballet class but I had a secret. I was trafficked in South Jersey by my mom, who was a nurse. I was only six years old. She looked at me and she said, do you love me? Of course I did. I was raised in New Jersey in an abusive and controlled environment. In school, I struggled with learning disabilities and used laughter to hide behind my pain. I longed for acceptance and friendship, which caused me to trust the wrong people at age 18, people who pretended to be my friends ended up forcing me into prostitution and I endured beatings and worse. I thought I'd never survive. For two years, I was forced to sneak out at night and was sold to men to try and earn back the photos. I was trafficked in a middle-class suburb while I lived at home and went to school during the day. What child doesn't want to prove that they love their parent? So sleeping with men became my normal. Later in life, a boyfriend figure said, I'm not making you do anything your mom didn't make you do. I felt like I had no choice because I believed them when they said that no one would believe someone like me. I was left with police records, hospital visits, and homelessness. Today, I've learned that my voice and my presence in this world can make a difference. Today, I feel empowered, valued, and loved. If any of our stories resonate with you and what you have gone through or are currently going through, know that you are not alone. The survivor community is waiting for you.